Hey guys, and welcome back to another Encursus tutorial. Uh, in today's Encursus tutorial, I believe it's tutorial 17. Can't believe we're already up there. Um, I'm going to be covering a class of functions that affects the way that um, Encursus outputs, or it's kind of affects the way that uh, Encursus refreshes the screen, is, is more like a, the way I would say it. But the official documentation calls them um, output options, basically. Um, so there's six main functions that we're going to talk about today, or routines, I guess is what the Ancurs' uh, documentation calls them. There's six main ones we'll be talking about. Uh, actually, there's only four we'll be really talking about. These two up here, um, they are considered output options, but it's kind of difficult for me to show you what they do, and I think they're very niche case um, functions, routines. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the documentation if you guys are interested in those, but we're going to gloss over these for this tutorial. Just know that they're part of the output functions. Um, I, I think the OK is like basically saying, you know, all, all these functions are of the form something OK, which is saying like it's OK to do this thing. Uh, so this is clear OK, this one's immediate OK, uh, this one's leave OK, and this one's scroll OK. Uh, and they all take a window as their first parameter and a, a true false value as their second parameter. So um, to save some time, I've just written up some examples ahead of time down here, and uh, I have a window that we're going to be using uh, as an example. So, um, so the, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, leave OK. So leave OK, basically what leave OK does is it tells the terminal that um, when it refreshes a specific window, it doesn't have to redraw the cursor. So it's basically saying, you know, you can redraw the window, we don't care about redrawing the cursor. Um, it's not to say that the cursor doesn't get moved, it's just saying that you don't have to redraw the cursor. So just to give an example, let me uh, make the program. Hold on, let's see. Oh, I redefined it. My bad. Uh, there we go. So if we make the program and rerun it, you'll see that... Um, actually, I guess what I'm going to do is first I'll show what, without leave OK what it looks like. So without leave OK... Quick jump cut there. Uh, sorry, I realized that some of my values here were wrong and they were from an uh, earlier example. So uh, 5, 5 here, I just need to change this to uh, something like 1, oops, 1, 2, something like that. So now if we make and run this program, we'll see what it looks like without leave OK on. So without leave OK, we've moved to position 1, 2, and then when we do the refresh, it moves the cursor to position 1, 2. Um, so essentially what happened was we moved the cursor, then during the refresh it said, okay, uh, we're, we're adding all these characters, oh, we gotta put the cursor in, because we're refreshing that window, we gotta make sure we put the cursor in the correct spot. So now when we, uh, uncomment this leave OK, however, and we make the program and run it, you'll see that even though we moved that, uh, cursor to position 1, 2, it leaves it here because we're basically telling the program we know the cursor's there, we don't need you to redraw it. Um, and this is especially useful for programs where it doesn't matter where the cursor is. There's a lot of programs where you don't really need the cursor per se, like for instance in a, in a game or something like that. Snake game, quick little plug to my snake game tutorial I'm making. In a snake game you probably don't need to know where the cursor is, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's what leave OK is good for, um, essentially. So uh, that's leave OK. Um, and that's what leave OK does. Um, the next one is immediate OK, or immediate OK, like this. Uh, so again, I'll do something where I show you what it looks like without immediate OK, and then I'll show you what it looks like with immediate OK. So um, without immediate OK, what we're doing right here is we're adding the character A to our window. Um, and then after we do that, we're going to go down here and do get char, but we're not doing a w get char we're just doing a regular get char so this shouldn't refresh our window which um, we created up here we've never refreshed it so it's not going to refresh so um, once we make this program and run it you'll see that we get no output you get nothing because we haven't refreshed our window um, so what immediate ok does is it tells any sort of drawing function like add char or um, print w I think it works for print w as well um, what it immediate ok tells the uh, end curses is, is that anytime we do one of these draw functions we want to refresh immediately um, so that's what immediate okay means now immediate okay is um, 
it can be helpful, but it also degrades your performance because oftentimes you don't want to refresh every time you print. You want to print a bunch of stuff, then refresh the screen. But just to show you what it does, um, we saw that before. Oh, I didn't save it yet. That's why. Uh, we saw that before it didn't actually um, print anything out. But now that we have a immediate OK on it, um, when we do this W add char here, it refreshes um, the whole entire window for us essentially so that's what immediate okay does it sets all the output functions to um, refresh the window by default um, all right so moving on to the next one so that was immediate okay uh, the next one is scroll okay but so yeah so scroll okay down here um, what scroll okay does uh, without scroll okay on I'll just show you what it looks like. So scroll OK basically tells our, our window, um, whatever window you pass it, that it's OK to scroll past the last line. Um, and I'll kind of explain what that means in a minute. But let's just see what it looks like without scroll OK here. So if we make this program and run it, you'll see that it's printed you know, 0 through 10 over and over. But when it gets to the end here, it just the cursor just stays at the end of the window and keeps uh, updating this position here so that's what's happening here it you know continues along and then it reaches the end and it just stays there however when we oops, go ahead and uncomment scroll okay like that and we do the same exact program it continues scrolling past that last line and it continues outputting um, so it, it basically adds the scrolling effect I, it's not like scrolling in the sense that you can go back up I don't think but it, it, it'll continue scrolling, quote unquote, continue scrolling down um, when you when you output more. Um, so let's cancel that now. So the uh, final function we're going to cover here um, is called clear OK. And I, I haven't written up a example for this one yet, but I'll, I'll just do one here on the fly. So what clear OK does is it basically tells our terminal that the next time we run refresh, we want to make sure that it actually definitely 100% refreshes everything. If you're not familiar with the way that uh, NCURSES normally works, uh, it basically just checks to see if anything's changed since the last refresh. And um, if it notice, if it detects a change within a cell, then it outputs that cell. Otherwise, it doesn't. And this is a way that it optimizes um, the refreshing uh, state because you don't want to refresh a, a cell that hasn't changed because there's no point in doing that. But under certain circumstances, maybe uh, the output, the, the screen changed for some reason without um, NCURSE's input. Uh, there are certain situations where you might be uncertain what's on the screen and you want to make sure that it gets redrawn. And so that's what the clear OK function does. Um, so clear OK, we can pass it our window. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to give a good example of how this works. But um, like I said, basically what it does Clear OK in practice, what it does is it next time you run a refresh, it'll automatically fill in the entire. Um, it'll basically tell NCURSES that every single cell in that window needs to be redrawn versus what it normally does, where it says just update the ones that have changed. So um, that's kind of what it does. In my last tutorial, I covered clear versus erase. And the difference between clear and erase is that clear calls clear OK. So it just guarantees that the entire screen gets refreshed versus erase, which just basically says, OK, we're going to remove everything from the screen, but it doesn't necessarily say everything needs to be refreshed, uh, which is it sounds like those are the same thing, but they're actually different uh, within the inner workings of NCURSES. So those are the output functions or the, you know, the OK functions uh, in NCURSES. Um, I hope this has made some sense to you guys. Um, if you haven't checked out any of the previous tutorials, go back and check those out. Um, also, swing over to my uh, Snake and Curses uh, game tutorial. Uh, the first one, or you know, probably a couple, um, are out at this point. So feel free to go check those out. There'll probably be a card or something right now for that. Um, if you like this video, please like it. You know, if you like to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications um, and leave any comments below if I screwed something up here or if you have any questions or requests for future videos. I try to read all the comments and I try to respond if I can. So anyways, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.